Hello friends, I have already made a video on AAC block masonry. The link is given in the description of this video. For masonry construction, cement sand mortar is used since many decades. But the use of conventional mortar with recently invented AAC blocks has led to low construction quality due to their mismatched properties. Hence special adhesives have been formulated to match the properties of AAC blocks. So in this video, we will compare cement sand mortar with adhesive for AC block masonry. So let us start. Joint thickness. In case of AC block masonry with cement mortar, the thickness of cement mortar joint shall be 8 to 12 mm. Whereas in case of AC block masonry with adhesive, only 3 to 4 mm thickness of joint is sufficient. Speed of construction. In case of cement sand mortar, the raw materials such as cement, sand, water are to be correctly proportioned and then mixed carefully to obtain the paste, which is a time consuming process. Whereas AAC block adhesive is a ready mix material and only water is to be added in it for application. So the speed of construction is more. Water curing. In case of cement sand mortar, water curing is required for the duration of 7 days. Whereas Adhesives are formulated such that they are self-curing. No water is needed for curing the adhesive and hence they help in saving water as well as money. Cleanliness on site. In case of conventional mortar, due to mixing of raw materials such as cement, sand, water on site and curing, the cleanliness of site is not maintained. Whereas AAC block adhesive comes in premix form. Only water has to be added at site. Due to this and its self-curing nature, the cleanliness of site is maintained. Bond strength. The bond strength of cement mortar is less as compared to AAC block adhesive. Whereas AAC block adhesive contains special polymers which gives high adhesive strength which ultimately increases overall masonry strength and load bearing capacity. Wastage. Cement sand mortar accounts for 20 to 30 percent of wastage during its use. Whereas in case of AAC block adhesive, there is negligible or no wastage during its use. Materials required. In case of cement mortar, the joint thickness is 8 to 12 mm. Hence, more material shall be required as compared to AAC block adhesive. Whereas in case of AAC block adhesive, the joint thickness is 3 to 4 mm. Hence, 75% less material shall be required as compared to conventional mortar. This leads to reduction in storage space of material, fewer labors to handle and also reduced cost of transportation. Thermal insulation. The cement mortar is heavier to bond with AAC blocks and also does not have thermal insulation properties, which leads to less thermal insulation when the whole masonry is considered. Whereas, AAC block adhesive is specially formulated to match the thermal insulation property of AAC blocks. Hence, the whole masonry acts as a thermal barrier which is not the case of cement mortar. Curing time. In case of cement sand mortar, curing is done for 7 days. Whereas in case of AAC block adhesive, no curing is to be done. Hence the masonry wall is ready in just 24 hours. Quality control. Cement mortar is prepared on site and sometimes it is difficult to maintain the quality of mortar as it is being prepared on site. Also the raw materials cannot be checked for quality at site. Whereas adhesives are manufactured in factories under controlled conditions, the quality control measures can be effectively observed and the ultimate product is of superior quality. The manufacturers taste the raw materials and then use them in the manufacturing of the adhesives. Price The cost of cement mortar for constructing 1 cubic meter of AAC block masonry is approximately 600 to 650 rupees. Whereas the cost of adhesive for constructing 1 cubic meter of AAC block masonry is approximately 300 to 350 rupees. So from this comparison we can say AAC block adhesive has many advantages and it is more cost effective as compared to cement mortar. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.